Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Space Godzilla 21 and today I'm going to show you all the Borderland Easter eggs that we've found so far. I am Batman. Now this is a parody Easter egg of Batman and you'll find it in the fridge. You want to start, if you start at the slaughterhouse it makes it easier. I'm going to fast forward the video now so it doesn't take too long to reach them. You want to be at least level 18 or 19 to get past this without a sweat. And people say you need to be on a quest to do it, but I found out you don't have to. Once you reach this little elevator, just click the button, and then you're going to go to the Rackman's cave. Now you might have to wait a little bit, but he spawns right in front of that weapon cache, and then you have to fight him. There he is. As you can see, he has a rack on his back, and he actually has, like, rack ears. Kind of making fun of Batman's bat ears. And instead of batarangs, he has actual rack -arangs. I kind of overkill him here, just because of such a high level. But if you're under 18, 19, it might be a little struggle. Get a closer look at his helmet. I don't kill him too fast when he gets a good Alright, there you have it. Now get a closer look at his helmet. Alright, I guess it's time to go to the next um, Easter egg. Number two on our list is the Double Rainbow Easter egg. Warning, there may be spoilers in this one, so if you're not really far in the game, you might not want to watch this. So you want to just follow where I am. I think I'm in Highlands. Oh, crud, I'm sorry, I forgot what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's Highlands, though. Now you want to head to this base where the two turrets are I'm just gonna fast forward and just keep straight where I'm going right now the enemies are kinda hard I think they're 21 or 22 then I wanna go over to these rocks I'm gonna wait a second because I'm in um, Gunzerker mode so you can hear it better alright so there's sanctuary flying in the sky and there's that town down there I'm just giving you a view of the environment so you can find this easier it is right above the bridge that we passed in the beginning of this part. Right, so what you want to do is you want to head over to that tent. And once you go inside of it, the Easter egg will begin. Now, determining on where you are in the game, either Claptrap or Handsome Jack are going to talk for this part. Oh, <laughs> double rainbow, full on, all the way. <laughs> Perfect double rainbow! All the way! Oh, what does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, double rainbow! So there we have the double rainbow easter egg. If you guys really like this one, I do. That, the original video is really funny. Going on to our third easter egg, we are doing the Minecraft one. Now you're going to want to go to the sanctuary hole after the sanctuary flies off. Oh, spoiler, sorry. And you're going to want to go where I'm going right now. You want to at least be level 27 or 24 so you can get through this without dying. And you don't want to jump there. I was just lucky to survive. You want to try to jump from up here. But I guess where I jumped was okay, as long as you don't fall off. Yeah. You want to go here. The Caustic Caverns. Now this part's a little bit harder because of all the bugs, so you want to be at least, like, a little bit 28, maybe. Right here, you'll be able to find a quest. I already did it, so you're not seeing it on my screen. It's going to be right here. 
if you still, if you choose to uh, do that quest, it'll lead you right to the where the Easter egg is. All right, you'll know when you're at the Easter egg when you see this cube rock right here, little kind of rectangular block of rock. And I just want to just wanted to jump on it and go this way. You'll start seeing some Minecraft dirt. I'm not the biggest fan of Minecraft, but I've killed some creepers in my day. And I must say, that that game was very creative. I think it's kind of funny that Borderlands put an Easter egg about it in their game. There's a torch right there. Now the black blocks, well, the stone blocks with black in it have ammo, and the gold ones obviously have gold. And if you find a purple one, it has uranium. But those are really rare when you do this. But you can go back to this Easter egg no matter, well, any time and do it over. Crikey, we got a creeper. Shooting it will make it explode and blow up the blocks. That's my um, crocodile um, voice. All right, some of the creepers will um, drop skins, well, Minecraft skins. I'll show it after this part. Um, there's a Minecraft skin for every character, but you'll probably get one for the character you're playing as at the time. When you come back, though, you'll probably find the other skins. There's, I think, four or five creepers. And if you blow them up next to the cubes, they actually do explode. So if you don't want to punch them all, you can just have them blow up next to them. Another skin. And once you kill all the small creepers, there's this boss creeper. Well, it's pretty much just a bigger version of them. It does more damage when it explodes. And there he is. Just picture seeing these in Minecraft. Now there's a back wall you can go to, but there's nothing else after that. There's just a few more blocks you can uh, hit and will hit. There's an uranium block right there. This is actually my first time I found one in here, and I've been in this Easter egg three times now. So these are actually really rare. Well, guys, I'll be working on part two shortly, and I'll see you then.